And now, did you ever butt chug back when you were nasty? <laughs> Comment. <laughs> did you ever butt chug back when you were nasty? Um, I never butt chugged in my life. I probably, there were definitely times with the irresponsible amount of alcohol consumption, but none of it ever through the butt. Cause like, I mean, I hate to sound like, like a snob. Even at my dumbest, I was too smart for that. It, there's a lot of problems with it, right? Let's go over the, the myriad benefits of just drinking the beverage. Um, that's what it's designed for. Also, your body is designed to take in liquids via the mouth versus via the anus. Then, don't need any specialized equipment except possibly a bottle opener, but there's usually one person around who their life is off on the wrong track. They could open it with like their eye socket or something like that if they have to. Um, your body has all sorts of biomechanical apparatuses set up in your, uh, in your GI tract that allow you to extract the sugar and the alcohol, and then they get sent to the right places to get processed, and it's a unilateral flow for the most part. Um, you doing it the other direction, you need to take your pants off. I hope you're freshly showered. I believe you also, you probably need a funnel or something like that. I also, I just, it just seems inefficient to me, to be honest, on top of being extremely dangerous. Did you ever have to go to the hospital for alcohol poisoning? Not only did I never have to go to the hospital for alcohol poisoning, because I can handle my liquor. <laughs> I didn't, even in university, I didn't even know anybody who had to go to the hospital for alcohol poisoning. Which leads me to believe, I know it's fairly common, but it really puts it in perspective for me how degenerate you got to be with your alcohol consumption in order to be poisoned. I guess you could be a smaller person that doesn't drink that often and then go insanely hard very fast. That could happen. If you didn't eat anything all day or something like that, and then you went to a party and you were like, I'm going to drink like a, a, a whole Mickey in one chug, I could see it happening, I guess. I don't want you to get the wrong message out of this. It can be dangerous. I am just saying like, not only did we never have anyone go to the hospital for alcohol poisoning, we never even had a situation where we were like, should we call an ambulance? There was a couple of times where we were like, keep an eye on your roommate tonight. Like when you go back to the room, we don't want anybody to die like a, like a drummer in Spinal Tap, but never a situation where we were like, we have to call 911. So I don't know, Josh, I guess we, honestly, I hate to say it, I guess we could have gone a little bit harder. That's the lesson to be learned there. I pissed myself drunk once, but I didn't die. Honestly, like the piss is kind of like unfair, right? Because as soon as you piss, it's like um, you got some of the bad stuff out. Don't, don't fuck with me. Don't fuck with me. 